Welcome back to this Rift Let's Play. You're Sambo, you're Seraphis, and joining us as usual, although unusually he's not dancing, is Tallahassee. You feeling okay, mate? You told me to be serious. It, oh, listen to him. He's gone and got all grumpy. You're not grumpy, are you? No. No. <laughs> You can dance if you want to. You can leave your cares behind. Because <laughs> if you don't dance... I'm all shy now. Oh, he's all shy. Look, we've broken him. I'm sorry. You can dance as much as you like. And I've just realised that I was actually quoting the lyrics to the safety dance. Actually, maybe that's something we should we should have you booking on down to in the future. Anyway, thank you for joining me once again. Uh, how's your week been? Uh, this week has been an interesting week so far. Oh? Do you care to define interesting, or is that something uh, not worth going into? Uh, for a work challenge, I may be shaving my head into a mohawk. Alright, wait, wait a minute. We'll just repeat that so that everybody's clear. You're, you've got a work challenge that could result in you shaving your head into um, a mohawk? Damn skippy. Damn, Skippy, he says, well, okay, gosh. Um, now, is that if you lose or if you win? Whatever it is. Uh, if the team wins the challenge, yep. I shave my head. Whoa. If the team loses, I get to shave one of their heads. Wow. Okay, well, that's high stakes if you ask me, especially given your um, golden locks in real life, uh, which, uh, by the way, are not too dissimilar to your characters, by the way. But anyway, um, when when will that come out? When when does that finish? Uh, it's still another couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. All right. You, and it will be posted up on the YouTube channel. It will. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Tallahassee slash Romanova posting whether he wins or loses, either him shaving his head into a mohawk or shaving someone else's. Um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Thanks for sharing that with us, um, and good luck to you. In the meantime, right. hopefully we're not going to be shaving our characters' heads. Let's have a look at our quest log here. Pick up from where we left off last time, of course. And I've just realised too, sorry folks, I've left my sound up very high. One moment, we'll just take that right down. Here we are, that's better. Um, let's have a look at our quest log. Where we left off last time, we've got the high elven inquisition so as you might remember we can hit m and you'll see there on my mini map i've got a nice marker i presume we're both going to the same place Tallahassee, are we no oh. going there now look what just happened so i presume you just put a marker on the map um yes i did lovely because that actually brought up my main map for me which is great so obviously if you're in a party and someone puts a marker on the map it will bring up the main map so I'm going to do the same. Presumably we can have two markers. I'm just going to right click there. Can you see where mine is? Yeah, it's pointed off screen but I can see it. Yep, great. So as Telehasi just said, they actually appear on our mini map as well. And excuse me, but that still sounds rather loud. Oh, I turned down the music volume. Wrong one. Silly master me. Master volume. Yeah, master volume. There we go, that's better much better all right so sorry about that folks if the sounds have been really loud anyway so all right um, I think why do you think we've got different I mean we're on the same quest oh is it because uh, we're different races and we worship different deities or something like that I think it could be something along those lines yeah okay all right lead the way big fella we'll follow you to yours first onwards and upwards now obviously we're still in the starting zone you're a veteran of multiple characters, um, Romanova, so uh, including Tallahassee here, obviously. Um, are we going to be getting out of the starting zone soon, do you think? Or have we got quite a way to go? Still got a little way to go, but we will get there pretty shortly. Yeah, nice. Oh, it's been way too there long since I've played. Oh, another nuke! I leveled up! And it lagged the heck out of me. Right, you're gonna have to wait one sec. Is this your um? Is this your altar? Is it? Yeah, this is my altar. All right. Lovely jubbly. 
Right, I need to hop into, while well, Tallahassee does that, I need to hop into my soul tree. Of course, you remember from the last episodes uh, that we get a point or two every time we level up. And we can pop our points into these talents up the top side of the screen and down the bottom it will open up different abilities. So, for example, this ability here, Fire Armor, it's got a four over it, which means if I have four points in this tree, uh, that ability will open up. I'm about to put a point in here. Let's see, what have we got? pushback or cast time I'm going to decrease the cast time you'll see that that ability opened up and if I save and exit it actually pops up on my hotbar there and that's fire armor surrounds me with fire increasing my damage by five percent for one hour and I'm going to turn that on look at that we get a lovely effect and uh, top right there you'll see I have the buff fire armor increases damage dealt by five percent so it's just familiar um, well, it's just the same as something like WoW, really. All right, can we go to my altar? Following the yeah. eggs. Yeah, boy, I've really missed this game. It's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it's ridiculously pretty. Yeah. Um, and speaking of um, how the game is, uh, you must have been playing a lot on your alts since we were last filming. Have you got any... Any general comments? I mean, any anything that's um, cropped up that's not so good, for example, or is everything still rosy? Well, for me, at the moment, everything's still pretty pretty rosy, to be honest. Yeah, that's good to know. I haven't come across anything that I really dislike. I mean, there's been a few bug drifts, but that's not that bad. Right, right. And of course, we're yet to see the rifts um, in action. No doubt they'll scare the hell out of me, but anyway. Have you um, have you done any PvP yet, by the way? Whoa. No, I haven't. I keep hearing good things about that, actually, so I can't wait till we get to that point. Um, Alright, so I've got a blessing there. What do we have to do now? Uh, I don't know what we have to do now. Maybe I'll look on the map. Use the Elven Dagger on Deathbound Thrall, 0 of 6. Okay, so I'm going to presume we have an ag a dagger in our inventory. We do. Now, do I have to drag that to my hotbar? No, you don't. It should be there next to the quest. It'll be a usable light. Oh, there, you're dead right. That's a fantastic feature. So, what Tallahassee is talking about here is the quest tracker uh, underneath the mini-map and I've got a little button there that says use elven dagger basically so that's handy you don't have to go into your bags and you don't oh that's a cool effect you don't have to go into your bags and you don't have to put one on your hotbar so let's try this click on them use the dagger oh it's got a cool effect That's weird. I didn't seem to do anything for me. It could be me. I don't know. Uh, you go for the ones around it, but you see it brings up like a tree type person. Oh. Whoops. Alright, I've been going for the wrong one. So go for one over in the distance. Ah, there it is. That's really cool. And then the tree ant attacks the attacks the mob I like that yep there's a clickable over here oh nice gosh you know like I said it's been so long um, where's the collectible oh thank you very much the interface is so slick isn't it it's just so so polished so smooth it's such a joy to use. Yeah, it's probably the best current gen MMO going around. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on that one. Oh, and there's a Trant. Go on, kill him, kill him. Good. Now, are ours counting for each other? Probably not, I suppose. No, they Lovely. Four of six. One more to go. Uh, 
There we go. Return to Shyla. Actually, I forgot as well. There's a bit of tech in this game, isn't there? Like these panels are definitely, I don't know, what are they? Steampunk or high tech no, a or bit something? Sci-fi. Yeah, they are a bit sci-fi. So it's obviously not totally 100% fantasy, I'd imagine. No, I think the other side of the defines a lot more sort of sci-fi. Right. And what do you know, another collectible? You're like a collectible hound, you are. Look I have that. my moments. Did you get that one? Yep. Beautiful. That's really cool as well that they respawn so fast. I like it. And apologies to you guys watching at home if my sound's a bit loud or quiet. I messed it up. So hopefully you can hear what's going on in the game world. Because that's the other great thing about this game is the sound effects. You know, um, Tallahassee, one of the th my favourite sounds in the game is... Um, well, apart the from the level, the level up sound, yeah, which sounds like a nuclear explosion going off. But um, that's very cool. But the sound that plays when you accept a quest or finish a comp uh, complete a quest, it's such a cool sound. I just love it. Oh, new clothes. That's it. That's the sound. We must open our hearts to the gods. Truth and fortune. All right, what do we have to do here? Once... He wants us to speak with Brother Jabiah at the Ardenburg Gate. Oh, okay. Now, I want to put on my new clothes, of course, so yay, yay, yay. And if you're a member, of course, watching from uh, our previous episodes, the game automatically compares tooltips, which is just fantastic. So you can see there, I've currently got equipped um, a grey item, and now I've got a green item with lots more stats on it. So we should be able to just right-click on that, and look at that. I'm wearing a nice robe, lots of nice new stats. Happy about that. Good stuff. All right, ready when you are. Onward. Onwards and upwards. Gee, the textures are so nice in this game. Great. You know, I actually, I think one of the best things about the visuals in this game is the lighting. Actually, I think they've done a, like a superb job. I can only imagine um, how big the game world is. Um, whoops. Uh, and we're pr presumably just in the starting area now. Um, will the map expand when we get out of here? It does, yes. Quite a lot. Yeah, cool. Wants us to steal a source, tone, a source stone cores, powering the profane defiant machines in the Blood Merc Grove. Oh, we get some new boots out of that as well. So just like most games, I presume that these early quests are designed to gear us up. And look at that, you can see there's four, four circles on the map. Oh, sorry, but there is a really tiny person running around. There is? Can you see it, Sweet Pea? Over here. Let's have a look. Oh, she just ran behind the tree. That <laughs> Sweet peas, that's a dwarf. Actually, you know what? I haven't seen a dwarf in the game yet. There's so many uh, elves like I am. Um, but I love on the mini-map and on the main map how it shows the zones where you need to go to in order to complete your objectives. It just makes it that much easier. Oh! Oh, the spell effects are so awesome as well. It's really satisfying combat, isn't it? Even though, I mean, look, to be honest, I thought at first, because we're kind of used to DCUO combat, which is, let's face it, it's great combat, it's very action orientated, it's hands-on. Ow! That hurt, you horrible woman. Um, I honestly didn't think I'd be too keen on going back to sort of standard... Uh, MMO combat, i.e. casting abilities and stuff, but it's a heck of a lot of fun. Oh, hang on, one of three, so I have to get these as well. I thought they'd count for both of us. No, we have to both get them. Right. Here we are, two of three. I wonder if it'll let me pick the same one up twice. Yeah. It did. Lovely. It saves running around. Wow. It's really starting to really look good, isn't it, this game? Gosh. Oh, I so can't wait to get out into the big world proper. So 
So just to recap for you guys watching at home, I've sort of specced into fire, of course, as my main main soul tree, the fire-based stuff, the pyromancer. I've also got, uh, if we have a quick look there, I've got the storm caller, which is at the moment giving me sort of uh, air-powered stuff, air spells, which is ice, um, enemy slows, for example, and electrification. Um, so a nice combination there. Mixing it up a bit. One thing I noticed, Tallahassee, when I logged in, I had all my talents reset because there's certainly been a lot of patches going on, which, by the way, it's great to see. Great to see Treon uh, keeping up the content and bug fixing and stuff. Did you have to reset your talents as well? I did, yes. Yeah. I kind of like that, to be honest, um, because it's basically like a free respec. Traitor, I don't have any traitors. Maybe I didn't. Maybe, did I forget to pick up a quest? Which wouldn't surprise me. And all shared. Oh, you can share it. Thank you. Yikes, what the heck is this thing? It's a construct. I haven't seen one of those yet in the game. And you always manage to get into trouble. I know. I attract trouble. Sorry. That's what that's what my Uber skill is all about. Or lack thereof, of course. Rebuff myself with my fire armor. So did you pick that, that quest up from inside the town we were at? Because I completely Trump, missed it. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Too busy gawking at the scenery, as always. Or gawking at your rear, of course. Although you haven't danced for me today, so I'm most disappointed. That'll come later. Okay. And you don't have a roll of dollar bills either. <laughs> a roll of dollar bills. Oh, dear. It's going to be one of those, isn't it? It's going to be one of those days. Yep. Alright, so keeping an eye on the tracker, I've got one of four of these things. Two now, so I'm halfway two of four for both. Got to get a couple more traitors. Geez, you're really spitting out the damage now, aren't you? There's a book here. Oh, thank you. Oh, and of course it doesn't respawn for me this time. Oh, there it is. It's down the side. And just reminding you guys watching, of course, that the books, if we ever look in our inventory, they are collectibles. They're, in fact, that's exactly what they are for, is, is to add to a collection. You see there, the tooltip says collectible. Uh, we right-click on it, and it moves it into our collections. And if we hit the C screen, character... Uh, you'll see there's actually a books section there. So, <clears throat> as we mentioned last time, in fact, I'll add these other books while we're here. Uh, it's great, unlike something like WoW, where there's a lot of books in the in WoW with lots of great lore, um, you have to stand there and read them uh, at the time. Whereas here, at least, they are in a nice window for you to be able to peruse and look through and read at your leisure at any time. And I must admit that's a great idea. I wish other games would do that. In fact, I wish other games would do a lot of things that this game does. All right. Uh, one more Thaumaturge. One more. Boy, you know, roaming around in these woods, it's kind of bringing back an old-school MMO feel. I don't know why, but I love it. Maybe it's just because we're sort of used to the semi-sci-fi setting of DCUO, and it's nice to get back into some traditional fantasy, even though, as we mentioned earlier, there's obviously a tech component to it, but running around in these woods is definitely fun. All done? I'm all done. Oh boy, I missed a quest and it was right there at the gate. That's embarrassing. Purge Construct Corpses in the Grove. And we're going to get a sash out of that. We're definitely getting geared up here. Whoa! Nuclear Explosion! 
Grant Tallahassee, what are you, level 6 now? Very nice. Yep. Oh, and the next quest gives us a bag. Fantastic. I love the way they've itemized these quests, giving us new gear, giving us bags. Mind you, it's par for the course, I guess, with any good MMO, but look at that. We've got a bag. Woohoo! Right click to equip that, and hopefully it'll appear down the bottom. There it is. So now if I hit the B key, yeah, lovely. And again, I do like the idea that the items that get used for quests actually appear in the tracker so we don't have to open our bag. That's excellent. Well, you're rocking a fair amount of hit points there now. Um, have you, how many trees do you have open in your soul tree? I've got two. Only two at the moment. Right. Any, uh, any new abilities that you've got now? Yeah, I've just picked up a blood fever. Blood fever, explain. Um, strike an enemy with an infected weapon, dealing weapon plus 7 to 9 death damage in addition to another 24 death damage over 12 seconds. Wow, so it's a big hit and a dot. That's pretty nice. Yep. Also, target's chance to hit with a physical attack is reduced by 5% for 15 seconds. Very nice. So what would you say if you were going to cat like class your character as it stands at the moment, just speaking stereotypically in the Holy Trinity, what sort of character are you, or maybe comparing it to something like WoW? Any, any, any similarity, or is it a real mixed bag? At the moment, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Right. Lots of utility? Yeah, lots of utility, lots of DPS, bit of tank. Yeah. Well, handy for a moron like me, in other words. <laughs> you don't have to agree with me, much. of course. <laughs> oh, he agreed with me. Uh, why I go on adventures with you, I have no clue. <clears throat> because I keep you alive. Yeah, that's right. Maybe that's it. And all the viewers know it as well, sadly. But hey, it's lots of fun. I'm having lots of fun. Can't wait to get more abilities. Can't wait to open up my third tree as well. Looking forward to that. What level do you think that opens up at? Is it like 10 or something? No, it'll open up soon. There's a quest to get it. Oh, excellent. Yeah, really hanging out for that. Kill it. Killing it. Thunderbolt and lightning! Wow, it's a tough one. Is it? Is this some special kind of mob? Yeah, it's a. This is an elite mob. Actually, technically, it's a rare. You can sell it by the diamond on top of its head. Ah, okay. Thank you, thank you. So does that mean he's going to drop something special? He has. Is it a nice dagger for you? Need if you need, of course. Actually, it is. Yeah, need need that puppy. And look, you're right. Tallahassee is right indeed. Rare enemies uh, are marked with a. A blue diamond above their portrait and are guaranteed to drop loot, but they may be tougher. Congratulations! Thank you. Very nice. And I do like that the... Very often that you see a warrior using an axe and a knife. I know, that's... And of course that's one of the great things, it seems to me, uh, about this game, is just the total flexibility when it comes to classes, matching it uh, completely with your play style. Uh, or indeed with your, your, the utility that you need at the time, or the group you've got. Oh, do we need to do something on that, do we? Yep, so we need to purge them. Ah, and fortunately it's counting for me this time, which is good. Now, is it me, or is this getting darker? Is there a day, There's a day-night cycle, I think, isn't there? There is, yeah. Beautiful. That you do some damage. Sure, thank you. Loving the sounds, loving the effects. It's so satisfying to cast spells in this game. How's that? You know what? Obviously, I haven't had a, a, a melee character yet. Um, does the melee combat feel sort of sluggish and disconnected, or is it actually quite active? No, it's quite fun. Nice. I must admit, I have not had any ability lag issues yet. And of course, 
reminding everyone that uh, we're playing from Australia and we're playing on a US server. Um, and a lot of MMOs don't hold up too well um, over that oh, sort of please distance. Please don't go down there. Oh, 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 what have I done? Is it bad down there? Oh, good lord. He's nasty. Make sure I've got my fire armor on. Wow, that's a cool looking castle off in the distance, I must say. Alright, so what do we do here? We use one of these. Oh, I see. Excellent. Four of five. Anytime. Yeah, sorry, I was messing with my settings, as usual. Who's attacking us? I do like that ability of mine that pushes them right back. That's handy for me being so squishy, of course. And back we go. Oh, we're doing well. In fact, I'm only a couple of bars away from catching up to you, level 6. So it's nice that the leveling is um, nice and rapid at the beginning. I presume it slows down, does it? Or does it keep up the pace as we get beyond uh, the starting zone? It's actually fairly consistent all the way through. Wow. Alright, so here is wow. the camp. Wow, yeah, doing nice. the last part. Is it? At least for this zone. Beware the corruption of the dragons. And yes, there are dragons. There are dragons? Okay. I'm, I'm, you know what, pretty much the, um, the reputation of this game is going to live and die, well, in my eyes anyway, on the quality of the dragons. To be honest, mate, I've seen so many poor dragons in MMOs recently. Have you seen any on your other characters yet? Um, I've only seen one here. And? In this zone. It is freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, thanks, collectible. Really? So it's not a crap dragon... <laughs> uh, in other games that we won't mention. Yes, I'm looking at you, Dragon Age 2. Yeah, right. Actually, I do remember you expressing your disappointment about that. Oh, Mage Trainer. Mastery comes with practice. Oh, okay. So, oh, all right. So we have to train our skills just like we do in WoW. Yes, we do. All right. Okay. So we can obviously reset our talent tree here as well. And look at that, I'd like to train for. Oh, and there we are, we're bang on the money. It is just like, wow, we can rank up our spells, obviously, to do a lot more damage than they already are. Um, oh, and they're not very expensive either. Your to your oh, what's happening? We're being attacked. Yeah, kill stuff. Whoa. Does that happen often? Soon you will fight. In this little area, it does. You must learn. Wow. And when we get out in the main game, when we meet again, yeah, it happens a lot. You will be the no, I've got a funny feeling that you're probably referring to rifts. Wow, the lighting's so good. Pick this up quickly. All right, so there you go, folks. We do I have to train our skills just like, wow, now have I missed any quests? Yes, I have. Seems to be my innate skill, my ability to completely avoid quests. Try not to waste my time. Kill deathbound rogues, soldiers, and sorcerers. And, oh, we get some scrolls. Okay. And another bag. Another four slot bag. Liking that. And it's my favorite sound. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that out in the distance? There's something with, like, tentacles sticking out of it. What the heck is that? Yeah, that's where all the tentacle porn in Japan is being filmed at the moment. <laughs> uh, let me get that straight. Did you just say, and my, oh my god, this looks amazing. Did you say that's where all the tentacle porn is being filmed in Japan? I'm a, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for that image. <laughs> that's disturbing. Um, what the hell is that thing with the tentacles? That is a rift. And watch out, you because you... Whoa. 
Okay, so there we go, folks. Our very first rift is in plain view. Getting and again. Yikes. Oh! Nuclear explosion time, and we level up. Fantastic. Tactical nuke. Tactical nuke. It is indeed. Um, let's have a look here. What do I want to put my points into? Burning shield. No, I think I want this cloud burst. Because uh, much like in DC Universe Online, I notice there's a couple of interactions here. For example, uh, this ability seems to... Where is it? If the enemy... Okay, so it blasts the enemy with a destructive force uh, dealing water damage, but if the enemy is electrified, it deals an additional amount of damage. Now, um, what I do know is that this particular um, electrocute ability here electrifies the enemy and it stacks up to three times. So if I get this new cloud burst ability, I can use the two in combination and do a whole lot more damage. So let's put some points into this tree. And yes, you can see that that's opened up. And there's my new Electrify ability, so I'm going to pop it over here, um, and obviously going to use it with this other one. Yes, the Electrified effect stacks up to three times, so I'm going to I'm going to pump that out on an enemy three times, and then use this new Cloud Burst, which deals additional damage for each of the mages electrified effects so much like in DCU online we've got some uh, synergy between skills there I presume mate that you have the same sort of thing going on as well a little bit but not to the same sort of effect right right so death bear oh there's a horse wow okay the mounts look cool I mean I know that's not a mount but it's an animal it looks pretty cool I was going to say there should be a quest for you to jump on a horse. Oh. Place the warding Apparently orb not here, though. of vigil. Alright, no. I don't think I have one yet anyway, unless okay, I missed on the another other side. Oh. Man, these that enemies look so cool. On the other side. Okay. It's good to see uh, non-traditional enemies as well. I mean, yeah, they're sort of they're skeletons and orky type things, but they're just sufficiently different so that it's not boring. I do like that, that they've come up with their own designs. And there's still lots of players in these starting areas as well. It doesn't seem to be any slowdown in its popularity, that's for sure. Which is good. Now, I come to learn, I think, that you were playing over the weekend that's just gone by. Um, and I understand that there was an event going on on the weekend or something, and that they were giving out keys for players to trial the game. Is that right? So, I mean, if that's true, there must have been heaps yeah, of players. Of the Ascended. Oh, okay. So, because I know that Rift does not have a trial account system just yet, but that's still a nice way of letting people be able to check it out for a weekend. Uh, were there heaps of people yeah, running around? I had a... Yeah, there were quite a lot of people. I actually had a friend of mine jump on and give it a... Give it a whirl? But yeah, by what he said, he quite liked it. Yep. I like how when you hover over a mob, its, um, it's tooltip shows you the quest if you're on one, and it also shows how many of that particular mob that you've you've done. That's great. I love that. Alright, so we're planting some kind of orb here. Place the warding orb of the vigil. Oh! Wow! Cool armor! That's really cool. Incoming. Incoming. Ah! Very nice, very nice. Kill the spawn of Regulos. Oh, that hasn't updated, so there's still more coming? Yeah, oh, yes there is. Um, and so, also, Tallahassee, on your uh, higher level characters, what is the armor 
like what do they start looking like like I mean I won't I won't bag out WoW too much because as you know I'm a big fan of WoW I think it's an outstanding game always will be yes sure we've all got sick of it um, but the if armor looks a lot better yeah because you know what when we were leveling through the content in WoW when uh, Lich King came out whoa it's a dragon it's oh, yeah, a baby dragon that is an awesome looking dragon okay yes you're right it is a banging dragon that's what dragons should look like take note every other game developer that is fantastic wow all right i'm i'm suitably impressed good lord um yes yeah, so when we were leveling leveling through uh wrath of the lich king content I don't know if you noticed, but all your armor was the same brown, boring armor. Didn't matter what set you got, it was just the same over and yeah. over again. And it was great the first time, but after about the 50th time, it started to get a bit old. So I'm hoping that they've got much more variety in this game. It looks like it so far, anyway. Especially if this guy's anything yeah, to I'd... go by. Place your faith I can't say that I did too much with Lich King. I actually stopped halfway through. Oh, oh well, that says a lot. Um, oh, okay, this is interesting. So this next quest is, you're dead right, as Tallahassee said before, this next quest is actually going to give us our third soul tree. Interesting. All right, so there's going to be decisions going on there. Um, and there's my favorite sound again. Um, and that's called the Pariah. He wants us to disable Orpheus Corruptor, defeat his construct. Gosh, that sounds like a nightmare of a task. Uh, and we get our third soul tree. Getting a bit excited about that. And Put handing in the last quest. Choose one of these. What's my major stat? I'm presuming it's intelligence. Um, where's stats? Yeah, int or wisdom. Right. And of course, um, as you guys at home know, you can click on your stat screen and hover over a item like for example intelligence and it tells you, there you go, Tallahassee's dead, right? Increases spell power by 12 and wisdom increases spell power and mana regen so in this case I think we'll get a scroll of intelligence because we need that and we get another bag it's like Christmas enchantment <laughs> it's, yeah, god damn I love saying yeah I thought I'd bring that up make sure all our viewers enchantment 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 that's there you go if you want to if you want to tickle Tallahassee's fancy uh, mention Sam um where are we bags I can add another bag Best now to... character in that game <laughs> I agree with you <laughs> he's so cute um, let's put on our new gloves let's see if they actually have a visual effect they do wow they look really cool and okay Tallahassee I have on my person now a burlap cloth which is saying it's a crafting material so obviously there's crafting in this game have you have you actually started doing any crafting on your characters yeah, I have one that is a armor smith, another one that is a weapon smith, uh, one that does rune crafting. Wow. Okay. You're gonna have to explain to us what all these things mean. I presume we'll, we'll come across trainers in a in an upcoming village or something like that that'll explain it all to us and show us our choices. Yeah, when we start getting out of this area, we will. All right. When we meet again. There we go, folks. Another couple of quick mage training sessions there. Some very cool armor again. Loving the design, actually. Um, and we're out of time for this particular episode, so we're going to have to leave it there. But fret not, we'll be back in a few days, carrying on right from where we leave off here. Where's Tallahassee gone? He probably went off and danced at somebody. Is that what you were doing? Yeah, I was shaking my tail feather. You were shaking your tail feather, of course you were. Well, thank you very Actually, just before we go. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you had to do that, didn't you? You had to ruin it. Just once. We, were, we had a dance-free zone, and no, you had to go and have a Carlton boogie. And, of course, I hope all you guys at home watching have seen uh, Tallahassee's dancing efforts with our little rift short that we made earlier in the week. Anyhow, thanks again for joining us, mate. Uh, really appreciate you giving up the time to come and uh, save my ass in this game. So on behalf of Tallahassee and myself, uh, Sambo and Zed, and of course our lovely Seraphis, 
We hope you're having a great day and we hope you join us next time. Take care. See you later. Bye bye.